All right, everyone, welcome back to another Top 4 episode. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but this is one I've been wanting to do for a quite, quite some time. Uh, we're talking about the Top 4, my Top 4, Frank Music albums. Now, if you don't know who Frank Music is, you're really missing out. He's a very talented singer, producer, songwriter um, from the UK. And I discovered him uh, back in like 2011-ish, 2010, 2011. Um, during his second, when his second album was out, and I listened to it, and I was like, wow, this guy is good. And then I just started falling in love with his music ever since then. I've been following him, you know, for, for a long time now, and he's become one of my music idols. Like, I really am just so excited for everything he puts out and follow him very closely compared to a lot of other artists that, you know, I sometimes check up on. Uh, so he's got nine mainstream albums slash EPs, uh, he has released a few albums that were like instrumental versions of his records, but um, I like all of his albums, and it's really tough for me to pick a top four, but I think I got my, my four right here. Um, I do have physical versions of all his records except for one, um, so maybe one day I can get that. Anyways, let's get into the countdown. If you're a Frank Music fan, I'd like to hear from you, because I really don't meet people who even know who he is, unfortunately, so if you know who he is, you're familiar with him. By all means, please uh, leave a comment in there. Tell me what albums you like by him. Um, so, number four is his debut album, Complete Me. I'm going to put pictures of the albums over here too, guys, so you guys can see better because my lighting is terrible. Uh, but this is his debut album, Complete Me, and uh, a lot of Frank Music fans will probably pick this as their favorite record. Uh, for me, I really do like it. It's got a lot of fast pace to it. Some of his older stuff has like 8-bit sounds, kind of like... He even uses like video game sounds in some of his music, so it's really cool. Um, but he also has songs, you know, that are stripped down more and are a little bit slower. Songs like "Complete Me" or "Your Boy." Um, I like songs uh, "Confusion Girl," obviously, a really catchy pop song. Um, a lot of good tracks in here. Three Little Words," you know, "Better Off Is Two. So you can't go wrong with this record if you start listening to Frank music and you start with this album. You're not going to be disappointed because it's very, very fast-paced and fun a pop record uh, but there's three albums of his I actually like a lot more um, so number three and we go from his first album to his latest album and that is AW17 um, when this album first came out a couple years ago I was in love with it I was ecstatic with you know the production and just the overall you know difference of songs on here He's got a song like Lexicon of Love on here, which sounds like something that would have been on his first album or two, so it's really cool. He kind of captures some of his old sound, but then there's songs like It's Over, which is completely different for him. Um, Call Your Name, Rest of Us. Rest of Us is one of my favorite Frank Music songs at all. You know, it's just, it's so good. Um, and I did do an album review on this like a long time ago when I first started my channel. And uh, it was very ghetto, just like this video, so if you guys want, you can check that out. But I had no idea what I was doing back then. I still don't. But anyways, AW17, really recommend this. If you want something with some good beats, for sure, check out that record. Um, his vocals are always off the charts, just so, so good. Speaking of really good vocals, my second favorite album of his is by Nicole. This is a perfectly constructed pop record. There's a lot, he uses a lot of live instrumentation on this record, like live guitars, there's trumpet or like horns or something, I think, and one song, acoustic guitar. So it's really cool to see that integrated into his production. And the, the different emotions and types of music on this record are just uh, uh, unbelievable. Um, if you guys really want uh, to see where his vocals can go, listen to songs like uh, Call to Arms, Fled, uh, Ephemeral Summer, Conclusions, and especially the song Dear Nicole, where his vocals reach insane heights that when I first heard, I was almost crying because I couldn't believe how good it was. Um, I remember when this album was coming out, I was so hyped for it, and it did not disappoint at all. Um, by, Nic uh, by Nicole, by Frank Music. Uh, this is just, if you're looking for a really, really good pop record, look no further than this record. Uh, I can't recommend that one enough. And finally, to my favorite Frank Music album, this is the album that made me fall in love with his music for good, and it's his third album, and it's uh, the only album that I had mentioned before that I don't have a physical version of, and that's Between, so I had you know, printed it up, a cover, and then burned it to a CD, so I could have it on a CD and listen to it in my 
my car at the time, so. Uh, Between is just a phenomenal record. From the first track on, it just hits you with so many different emotions, and I think this is probably his best vocal album, too. I mean, you go for the first song, Chasing Shadows, how his voice goes. And then you have Map, you had a song like Pins and Needles, which anybody could like that song, no matter what kind of music you like. Pins and Needles is just insane. Life is My Revenge. And he has a song like Stronger on here, track 8, I think it is. Um, that is just him and the piano, which I love those kind of songs from him. He has a few of those on his records. And, you know, they're kind of like hidden gems in there. You know, you expect these fast-paced, poppy songs. Then he hits you with this stripped-down, like, just piano song. And his vocals, and it just sounds so good. I wish he would do more songs like those on later records. Uh, he is currently working on a new album. It's, you know... Uh, at least that's what uh, the last update I heard was that he was he's been working on some new stuff. So he had released a new song. I think it was last year or maybe late 2018 or something. So it's been he usually releases album really quickly, but he's taken a long break from releasing albums in a couple of years, and I'm sure we'll have another one out probably next year, which I will be so hyped for. Um, so there you go, guys. Top four Frank music albums. I'm wearing my Frank music shirt here. Um, care to put your top four in the chat there or in the uh, comments I should say by all means please do because I want to hear more from, from Frank Music fans you know people that know who he is would be great but if you don't know who he is go check him out you're not going to be disappointed at all so thank you so much for watching everybody I do appreciate it so if you're looking for good pop music you know he's the guy to go to um, I, I get a lot of influence from him when I'm writing songs too so if you kind of hear you know something that might sound similar to something I might write, it's because of him, so uh, that's certainly something that rubs off on me, so take care everybody, hope you're staying safe, and I'll see y'all in some more videos, till next time, zero is the number.